Greetings, Benjamin J from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, a follow-up on that Lionel 8902. This is a uh, DC locomotive, of course. So I pulled the push rods off, pulled the uh, front mount off, pulled the motor out. As you see, a 12-volt uh, DC can motor. So I'm going to uh, disconnect these two wires, and I'm going to install a diode right there. We can then run this on AC. Before we go any further, uh, I just got a notice from the guy that I bought this from. He refunded my money and told me to keep it. Uh, when I took it out of the box, both the contactors were missing, so it was not going to run. So I contacted him and said, hey, you didn't mention anything about this in your uh, ad. He's like, I didn't know they were missing. Go ahead and keep it. And he refunded my money. So in any case, if you have to replace these contactors, it's really straightforward and simple. This is one of the roller contactors and you literally just slip it under the plastic retainer it snaps into position and that's it they are installed so really straightforward now we're going to address this motor we're going to install a diode so this will run on AC so I have my soldering iron I have a damp sponge so we're going to disconnect the wires on the motor now That's the light. This is power. So that's been crimped on. So I'm going to have to cut it right there and restrip it. There we go. All right, so I'm going to install this diode right there on this motor. So the first thing we're going to do is put some solder on the diode itself. As you see. It's getting hot. There we go. So, we just solder this diode right to the motor. As you see. The power wire and the light will go together and we'll attach them to the other end of the diode. Put some solder on the diode on this side. So it only takes a minute to do this. Put some solder on this wire as well. As you see. So bend this down so it's out of the way. And we'll attach it right there. And that's it. The motor has been converted to run on AC. So, a simple diode, that's all it takes. I'll do a quick video before I reassemble it and put it on the rail and test it. But uh, it's gone from a, a straight DC locomotive to a uh, hybrid locomotive that will now run on AC or DC. Now, doing this, it's only going to run forward on AC. If you're running it on DC, you have the option of flipping the polarity for running it forward and reverse. When you uh, install the diode, it's only going to run forward. But in any case, it has a headlight. The diode is installed. This motor is running really, really well. So I'll put a few drops of oil on it. We'll put it on the uh, track and run it on AC to make sure everything's working. Again, these uh, contactors are really, really simple to install. Just slide them between the spring and the plastic uh, housing. They snap into position and your contacts are up and running. Anyway, this locomotive was free. You know, I complained about the uh, missing contactors. He said, I didn't know it. Go ahead and keep it. Here's your money back. So he paid uh, for the shipping as well. Anyway, the uh, 8902 is now converted to AC and it was free. So anyway, I'll uh, throw this on the rail 
and uh, we'll test it before we reassemble it. But I just wanted to do a quick video on installing that diode. It's really, really simple, and it only takes a minute. So, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email, benstrains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.